What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Um, money or fame? So, uh, I was watching this on Instagram and I saw this clip of Pusha T. And he was talking about how, you know, people were in the industry and they wanted fame. And he's like, I'm, I want the money because, you know, what it is is, you know, I want to be able to do everything that I want to do in life. At the same time, he was like, he also wanted to be able to, uh, his family to do what they wanted to do. So, you know, fame doesn't actually help everybody. You know, fame is a, is, is gets you recognition, but that doesn't capitalize on things. And using like artists as a, as a reference, you can be famous but what if people don't pay for your shows? You're famous, but nobody's really paying out of to see you like that. So you're famous, but you're really not bringing any money at the gate. Or you're famous, but uh, you got a contract that somebody else is benefiting heavily off of your work. But you're famous, though. And maybe you can't leverage that fame and the money. You know, maybe, you know... Some people can, some people can't. Let's just put it like that. But if you're rich, the question is, would you rather be, me personally, I would rather be rich and unknown than rich and famous. Be perfectly honest. Because if you're rich and unknown, you can go everywhere. You, you, you can blend in. You don't have to dress like, um, you don't have to be a walking billboard of I got money. Because, you know, you have all the, the accessories of money. You can be a regular person and still live relatively comfortable. And and I don't know if you understand this. There are a lot of rich people who are well off who you don't understand is rich because they don't put it out in public. They, they have multiple cars, but the interesting thing about them is they, they're only going to drive the type of car that the event um, calls for. And what I mean by that is you know, if they'll drive an expensive car, but it's an expensive car that even people in the middle class can afford. You get what I'm saying? So, bam, they show up. All you see is a, you know, a regular SUV or a regular sedan or something like that. Maybe a sports car, but but just one that you could, a person who works a good paying job and works some, or works some, uh, a good paying, a decent paying job and some overtime can afford. Um, but a famous person, they have to, you know, constantly be relevant and keep up the fame and constantly be a story. And it's like, that's tiring. Because maybe you don't want, maybe you just want to get up and put on some jogging pants and a, and a t shirt. You know, now you got to, put on a, you know, a, a, a luxury watch, you know, uh, maybe you have to ride in a, in a car that makes people go, ooh, they got a lot of money, like, mm. and, you know, you got to spend money to make money, per se, but for me, it doesn't make sense, because everybody else benefits off you spending money, and then you get accustomed to spending money, but that doesn't mean you make money, then you see people with the designer clothes, and you realize something like when you're famous, did you really need a Chanel sweater, a Gucci shirt, <laughs> a Versace robe? You know what I'm saying? Did, 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 is the material that much different than what you are than what you like? Did you need do you need a closet full of that stuff? You know, the Armani suit, you know, Salvatore Ferragamo. Uh, loafers, did you need them? Or did you really want them? But the thing about being rich is you might you might buy those things if you're rich. But you might have reg a lot of more a lot more regular stuff. You know, so you might have things that don't cost as much. But if you go out, you know, to to, an, to a swanky event. You got all that stuff. You know, you're not like the Gucci belt type. Because rich people, they'll show out for that occasion and they get right back to, nah, I, I could, I, let me just go into Target like everybody else. 
Let me go in the grocery store like everybody else. Let me go in the Walmart like everybody else. You know, let me go to the mall like everybody else. They don't do it too much. Um, so personally, I would say rich over famous any day. But And I've been around people who were famous. And rich and famous, rather. And I'll tell you the interesting thing. They would rather just be unknown. Like the best part about being rich and famous that people don't realize is falling off. When you keep the money and you fall off, it's a great feeling. Because now people ain't on you like that. You were washed up. You were has been. It's over for you. Now you ain't rich no more. Now the, the, the bank said you still, you still winning. But people go, ah. And now you could just go chill. You could do whatever you want. Now, like, hey, yep, that used, yep, I used to be that, but now, not no more. But you, you still live in a mansion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You still set for life. Your kids still set for life. Your parents set for life. Your grandkids set for life. You can do whatever you want to do. So, my opinion, rich over fame. But if you see anything different, you tell me. Uh, like, share, subscribe without trying. Peace.